Hey guys, Tim here with Two Feather Survival. I'm going to continue our solar navigation series today. I'm going to show you how to make a compass that you can make utilizing any of your basic woodcraft tools, basic block of wood, my nail, whatever it is that you might have. What is this magical device? It's called the Ottoman Sun Compass. It's something that was established thousands of years ago by the Turkish Empire, the Ottoman Empire. And it's an easy to make device that anybody can do. I don't have to have any compass with me to even calibrate this. I can just utilize the great compass in the sky. I'll show you how to make this today on Two Feathers Survival. Stay with me. All right, guys, for today's project, a couple things that you're going to need. You're going to need a board. It doesn't matter what type of board that is. If you want to craft something from a block of wood that you find in your wood pile, whatever the case is. So what I have used is just a basic piece of, uh, of pine board that I have cut down. So you're going to need that. The other thing you're going to want to do is either utilizing an awl or a drill bit, drill a small hole and have a small nail that you can run through the back hopefully with a large enough head that stops the nail from protruding all the way through. So that's going to wind up being our board that we're going to make some measurements with. The other thing that you're going to want to have is a bit of twine, string, natural cordage, whatever it is that you want to use, parachute cord and pull out the inner strands to actually suspend this with and I'll show you that procedure in a little while. And some type of a marking device, pencil, sharpie, whatever the case is, that we can mark the shadow. So let me move the camera here a bit and I'll orient the board so we can start taking some measurements with this. All right, guys, in order to get our Ottoman sun compass to initially be calibrated, I've got to find at least a basic east-west bearing line that I can then orient this to so I can figure out which way the sun's kind of going to travel across the sky. So is what I've got here is a shadow stick method in the ground. I'm going to go ahead and mark. I've got two pegs there. Uh, one has blue on it. You should see there at the uh, towards the front of that stick there just to the left. I'm going to mark the initial shadow point and then uh, give it about 15 to 20 minutes and I'll let a time lapse run so you get an idea how these things traverse. And then uh, after that I've got a basic east-west line. So that will give me a calibration point for the compass. All right, guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and put those pegs in there now. I'll put our starting marker in. There's the tip of that shadow. So from this point forward, I'm going to give it about 15 minutes or so. Alright guys, well the other thing I'm going to do from here, so I've got just some basic twine. What I'm going to do is run that here. So all I really wanted to do with that was clarify our east-west heading some, and that way I can use that as a point of reference for the next step in this, and is what I'm going to do from here. I'm going to use that as our orientation. I'm going to move over the palette that I had, bring that into camera view here, and start setting up our first mark for our Ottoman sun compass. All right, guys, so what I've done here is I've used the half of a palette that I'm going to use to kind of keep things level. I've orientated that to our now known east-west line and I've put our sun compass dial there at the base of that and as you see the shadow is just now starting to come to a point that it is usable and on the board. I'm going to give it about another 20 minutes and then I'm going to go ahead and take our first reading. I should also mention guys if I 
continued with pegs and with the original shadow stick method that I have here set up that I established our basic east-west line. If I was to continue with that is what I would have is a, a larger version of what I'm going to have on the Sun Compass board that I've got set up here at the lower frame of the camera and I could continue this experiment in about any size scale that I want. Alright guys, what this first dot will actually represent is uh, it's about 9.15ish right now. I'm going to make a mark every hour. So I'm going to set my timer on my phone here to remind me in an hour from now to come out and get my next measurement down. And we're going to go until about 3 o'clock this afternoon. So is what we should see when all this is done is this shadow is going to move from that point over to here as the day spans on. And is what we'll probably wind up with is not a direct line straight across, but something that kind of looks like a a convex mirror. All right guys, so what you see here is the passage of time. It's been about an hour and I'm going to go ahead and make our next mark. You see I got a little friend that decided to join us here. So with that passage of time, I'm going to make a new mark and then set the timer again for about 45 minutes. And I think from here on forward is what I'm going to do instead of burning up a bunch of video for really just tracking the sun moving across the sky. I'm going to leave everything in place and just continue taking photographs every uh, about an hour. Uh, and then we'll talk about this as uh, 3 o'clock hour approaches. So from here, I'll try to not move everything. Mark this point right where the tip of that nail head is. Put a little dot there. Confirm that I didn't move everything, which it's still there. So is what I'm going to do later is true up all those dots a bit with a, a permanent marker, a sharpie marker of some sort, and that way I've got a permanent dot there and not a uh, pencil mark, and then connect those dots together. So from here on forward, it will be photograph time. guys well unfortunately the Sun is getting ready to set and I've got my data collected to start doing our next step with this project so is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of hold off with what I got I'm gonna post this video tonight that way you can kind of see the first steps of it and then I'll continue all this in part two and we'll actually figure out how to get our north south east and west bearings off from what we've got collected here so far and then we'll do some basic navigation with this. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Remember guys, keep your knife sharp and your go bags close. Have a good one.